Hello wonderful students, um, this is Mr. Ejayo and welcome to the second video. Okay, so today we'll be looking at um, modeling application. And under modeling application, it's important to note what a computer model is all about. Now, a computer model is a model which would replicate or stimulate, okay, the function of a real system. Take for instance virtual reality. Um, it can it, it can act as a model because you can tend to do things there that tends to be real, but they are not actually real. That is what the model is all about. Okay, and that's what we talk about simulations because simulations is the creation. Okay, of a model of a real system. In order to study the behavior of the system okay you want to actually create a system but uh, you, you you you're scared or you you're very careful to see um, the um, you know making mistakes so instead of actually creating the real thing you can create a, a virtual reality of it so that you can run test on that okay and this is based on mathematical representations okay now the whole idea is to try to make is to try to see how the system will behave and uh, in real life and you predict the behavior of the system in the future okay how it's going to look like and you can see the possibilities of if less is going to have when that system is actually built now what is the advantage of using this models okay we'll be looking at the advantage of using this model okay the first one is using computer model is less expensive than building the real thing for example a bridge you don't want to build a bridge to discover that you miss something so what you do is you get a model of what that bridge is going to look like now the bridge you see in uh, in the uh, the main uh, the mainland bridge right the lucky bridge and the likes of that the eco bridge and lucky bridge you see that this bridge was not just built overnight, but rather there was careful um, development of a model of how the bridge is going to look like to know if it's going to be strong enough to hold the capacity of cars coming in and out. See, on many occasions, it is safer to use a computer model. Okay, it's not to use a computer model. Some real situations are hazardous okay for example chemical processes now you're building a chemical plant okay and you want to look at the possibilities of the disaster is going to cause a model will actually save you a lot okay now computer modeling allows you to try out various different one scenarios okay that's what it does okay and it is nearly impossible to try out some tasks in advance in real life because of what the hive is involved or the remoteness talking about building something in space or in sea or nuclear reactors okay and when you crash testing um, this it's often um, faster to use a computer model than do the real thing okay and uh, a lot of work must have gone to the bottom for you to actually go ahead to actually put up the real thing now what are the disadvantages of using models okay uh, one a model is only as good as the programming or the data enter that means if there are not enough data to enter into what you're going to build you might end up not getting what you want okay and it depends on these two factors okay it's as good as what the programming how you're building it and the data you're entering into it okay although building we think are expensive sometimes computer modeling is also a very costly option and these two costs needs to be compared before deciding which one to use now see there's something to understand to save cost and time by testing the system before you build it that is the reason why we have to do a model you're trying to save cost you're trying to save time and you want to test the system okay and a bridge is a, a case study about it so before you even try out a model because both are expensive you want to know which is more costly what are the, the effects 
of doing uh, what are the negative effects of if you bypass the model and actually do that okay um, it also trained people how to use the system in a safe controlled environment talking about the model now um we're diving a bit from this disadvantage and we want to understand actually what this model is all about because i don't want you to get confused in class um, when i'm explaining what it's all about now i've talked about the beach and now i'm talking about flight simulators now you want to be a pilot the first thing you do when driving a plane is to drive the, a simulator of that plane and what you're simply doing is you're building yourself about the possibility of crashing and all the rest and you're building you, you you're trying to in that virtual reality you're actually driving the plane and it feels so real with the atmosphere the humidity and everything and there you can make a lot of mistakes and you can correct it you do have the possibility of making mis mistakes in real life because say for instance a pilot who who is not very strong in piloting makes a mistake you only have one life one life okay and that's why we use computer models okay also why do we also use computer models we use it to investigate the capability of the system in details by interrogating and manipulating the computer model in the computer model we can be able to change a lot of things in the model we can be able to make modifications to a lot of things in the model but in real life once it's built it's built it is not really easy to make changes but in the model you can do a lot of changes no i don't want it to be like this i want it to be like this the same thing when you build in a house a very big mansion use the model when it's so expensive use the model and you try to see what and what you fit in into the house why should we use the model yes to make predictions of how the system would operate in real life okay um we can use a system to track your profit and loss account your profit and loss of a business should you go into what that business okay i felt you should know that okay another disadvantage is people's reaction to the result of simulations may, may not be positive they may not trust the result it produced okay there's always going to be a difference between the result uh, of modeling and the reality of it okay let's look at examples where these modelings are used they can be used in personal finance we've talked about bridge and building designs um flood water management traffic management weather forecasting and these are the ways um examples in which the computer model is being used let's look at um in finance personal finance okay so here we have a chat talking about this is the model this is of it of a talk shop in a school okay so we have items buy selling profit weekly shop cost numbers sold um uh, pair numbers of sold pair we have the total uh, profit item now this is like a model to show you okay um in these items you have in the shop in the top shop this is the price this is the selling price this is the profit you make it and this is the number of items you sold it you sell it now it comes to the point that the cost maybe um the cost of you selling maybe 200 okay and what you have sold so far may not be equivalent to the profit you're making how do i mean you can have a product and nobody's buying it and over time it gets damaged that can result in a loss so we use this model to track down um in a supermarket okay items you should buy in large quantities and in small quantities and this gives you a model of the items you should have in your shop okay all right and we have the formulas behind um, them okay um now so we have um bridge and building designs so let's look at it in bridge in bridge and building designs now in a bridge and building design it's important for us to know that um when you want to build a bridge okay you will test the designs long before any construction work is started okay and we have 3d modeling to help us to do that and in the while we are building it in our view we try out different scenarios 
Okay, we try our different scenarios. Okay, in building. In fact, uh, before building, I consulted. It, we ensure that the fees for the purpose. Okay, simulations ensure potential building could cope with the fiscal demand, including earthquake and storm threat. It's that important. Okay, you want to try those things in storm. Will it be strong enough? In earthquake, will it be strong enough? And all these and all these, these are criteria you have to look at to ensure that these criteria are properly checked. Okay, for example, when you're building a bridge, the modeler has to consider a number of scenarios. Scenes have to be considered when building that bridge. Number one, the amount of traffic that can be caught up in that bridge. Okay, talking about when you have tra traffic jam in the bridge. Okay, and where all cars, a lot of cars are stopped in the bridge. Can it be able to hold? Okay, um, the effect of strong winds. Okay, um, can the bridge uh, withstand the worst case scenario? And we and they put all they put up all these things, you know, in the in the modeling. Okay, earthquake. Um, is it earthquake proofed? Um, waves coming in. Um, flooding here and there. Can it withstand? Vibrations, okay. Um, we have had cases over the years where we've seen bridge uh, collapse, okay. And we want to know if the wind causing the bridge to swim uh, can be, it can be able to withstand the pressure. So it's important, okay. And that's why computer modeling provide the following features in that, okay. It provide the following effect effect in that, okay. And here you see that it is possible to zoom into the image so that the fine details can be seen. This is a case study of um, a model of talking about a building. This is for a building, right? We talked about the bridge. This is for the building. And um, uh, the, the designs can be rotated in different ways to allow different views of designs to be made. Now, building a bridge or building is expensive, okay, and dangerous. Everywhere you're building a company. Okay, like I said, you're building a company, you're building a big house or whatever that lots of millions is going to be used. You want to put a model to see and to test out a lot of things. Okay, now talking about the spreadsheet, talking about personal finance, of course, this is done using a spreadsheet. Okay, uh, we use uh, businesses use a spreadsheet to forecast um, profit or loss and. Uh, we use a formula business to adjust certain values to see the changes over time. Okay, so it's important. The next one is the flood water management still falling under the bridge, however. Okay, cases for flood. Now we have the traffic management, the traffic management. So let's look at it. The traffic management. Now, for the traffic management, we see that it can be used in, of course, modeling can be used in traffic management. Uh, we look at it in closure of motorway lanes. Okay. Now we see that repairs can be made to part of the central barriers on eight lane, like we've seen. Okay, and you need to carry out repair to monitor the impact of the road, whatever. Now, what they do is. There are two ways of controlling traffic, which is with this model. Okay, I will see the first one here, and we'll see the second model here. Okay, the company will run the first model and the second model in different densities. Okay, that it has. When you're building a motorway or you're working a motorway, the model has to be done to see that the traffic is properly what curtailed. Okay, and uh, we can try this effect with different speed limits to that road construction okay we can stimulate the effect of a breakdown to see how this will impact on the traffic flow by changing conditions in the stimulation as much as possible okay all right um the next one is the traffic lights okay now the traffic light simulators look at the flow of traffic okay and the simulator we adjust the light to best control what um, the flow of what traffic is that is that important okay 
check this here. Right, we have it here. So, uh, okay. So let's look at it here. Now, uh, we've looked at um, advantages here and what it does, okay? It's cheaper than building physical system to test safer than building actual system, okay? We've looked at it. Um, the next one is, okay. Um, okay, this is for school management system. Okay, so that's just what it, the um, computer modeling computer modeling is here. Okay, and um, the next one we're looking at is we've looked at building, we've looked at um, the flight simulator, and uh, we're moving forward to just to check weather forecasting. Yes, weather forecasting. The last topic we'll be looking at is the weather forecasting. Now, for weather forecasting. Now, how does it work? Now, it is set up automatically to gather data from the environment, and they're usually um, automatic, right? It uses a, a variety of sensors. We'll talk about sensors that are uh, input devices that send data to the computer, right? And we look at rainfall, we look at the temperature, we look at the wind speed, we look at the wind direction, we look at biometric uh, pressure, we look at the humidity and the likes of that, okay? And what that simply means is that you need to gather data right every hour of the day and these details can then be imputed into the model to simulate the weather patterns okay to know how it's going to rain the temperatures and the likes of that okay and um that is what the model does okay it helps us to, especially when you're building you be, you're building a large you, you're making the construction of a large building on uh, a place you want to know the weather structure of that place so it doesn't actually affect uh too much of your work okay so data is imputed into the model um, prediction of the weather for the next few days is made. Is it going to rain? Is it not going to rain? Now, and at the end of the weather uh, forecast period, the model compares is weather forecast with the actual weather that has occurred. Did it actually rain or not? They keep testing and testing and testing, okay? And of course, what happens is no model is perfect, right? Especially when we talk about weather forecasting. You're forecasting, actually. So you have to, you have to check right you have to learn from the previous weather situations make improvement to see how well you can predict uh, your predictions are constantly what mean new data is then imputed into the model and in a, a weather forecast for the next few days is what made it is powerful I, I, the weather uh, the this computer model is powerful because it helps to be able to run models and we can be able to make a lot of adjustment as much as possible you can see um, the weather situation here um, here is low jet stream and the likes of that okay so it's important that we know that so thank you so much for tuning into this um for watching this video we'll be looking at the next um in the next video we'll be looking at the other part of ict application so thank you